Hey, what's up guys? It is DJ. Today we've got some new and updated mods to take a look at for Farm Sim 22. In total, we have 10 mods for all platforms, two new and five updates. A PC and Mac player's got one new and two updates. In this video, we'll show you all the new ones plus customization and we will review every mod that got an update. And yes, I'm still doing videos from a hotel room. Let's do it! Starting off today with new ones for all platforms, we have the Large Shed. This is from MA7 Studio. I will say, it looks super, super good, at least on the laptop that I'm playing on right now. So uh, hopefully it looks as good for you guys at home. This is going to cost you, I believe, $32,000. So not too bad, which is nice. Give it through in. You can really do whatever you want on the inside of this. Uh, vehicles, bells, uh, quail it early, whatever. You're all good to go. And your only other new one for all platforms today is going to be the Dove Coat. This is also from MA7 Studio. It also looks really, really good. <laughs> it looks incredible. Normally I play in 4K, but I'm playing on 1080p on this uh, laptop that I've got with me on this trip. Not bad. Can we come in here and open the door? We can. There's stuff too. Look at this. Let's see. Uh, can I pick up any of this stuff? Oh, I can. Can I throw it out? The oh, I can throw it out the window. Hang on, I gotta see. Oh, we got a light in here as well. That's super cool. Nice, actually. You look up top, dude. All right, so this is pretty cool. This is all right. So down here, it is. <laughs> That's what you get. Jumping over to mod updates for all platforms. The first one is Viznice. This is gonna be version 1.1 DLC precision issue fixed. Build 24 fixed, added stubble compaction for barley and wheat, modified farmlands, the sewing calendar has been modified, fixed some visual bugs, and a new save game is required, so just a heads up. Next, we have an update to East Groningen. It's going to be version 1.1. The uh, first one is interesting. It says pre-disdain spline. I think they mean fix the pedestrian spline. They also fix floating items, fixed sheeps in fences and pallet spawn place, fixed some terrain issues, added shop marker and repair shop, changed trees and added some water plants, added some field decoration and made decorations on farmland selectable and sellable. That is cool. Made shed sellable. Fix fields too close on ditch, added six new paintable ground textures, added spinnery, added more placeable tree and bushes, and new maze texture. New save game is required for this one as well. Next, we have the update to the John Deere T-Series and 600X headers. This is going to be version 1.2, added Hillmaster version with slope compensation, which is super cool. They've also improved the driving behavior, optimized the door animation, service ladder is now foldable, they've added details, and added transport position for crop dividers. Next to last update for all platforms is going to be the Veltrina Dumper MR3A version 101. Fix the aim target while loading with a forge harvester and fix the brake hoses. Now they'll collect correctly to the tractor. Connect, connect. I should be able to read. And your last update today for all platforms is going to be the old stone cow shed version 1.1. Static cows have been replaced with new animated ones. Big thank you there. And added the LOD system. And your only new one for PC and Mac players today is going to be the map set PN50. I feel like we've gotten quite a few of these at this point, but hey, here you go. We've got another option for you. This will 5,000 liters of slurry or digest state, which is nice. 1.5 tons, 50 horsepower required for 12 meters at 10 miles an hour. Will Brands, we start off with Midas, but we also have Radistan, BKT, Trelleborg, Michelin, and hook in tires. Fenders, we have uh, basically yes or no. Those are going to be plastic fenders. We also have the pipe on the back, which is a yes or a no. Rear bumper, yes or no. And decals, we have without logo, only logo, or no. And yes. So there's that. Main color, this is going to be the frame at the very front. We have the frame itself overall, and then we have the pipe that's on the back. Ooh, we have the add-ons color as well, so all of the stuff around. And then, of course, we have our rim color. However, uh, the center does not change color, so just be aware of that. All right, let's make our way over to some mod updates for PC and Mac players. These are the last two mods of the day. Better Contracts, version 1279, added 240 packed bells as mission bells, and added 240 bells to the K-Brand and SW4014 wrapper. So, uh, make sure you go through and read these notes if you're going to be using those. And your last mod today is going to be the VIP Order Manager. This is version 131, correction of the invisible column headers, and minor adjustments to the configuration. Well, guys, that is it for this one. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, drop a like on it. And get subscribed to the channel if you're new. Join the GoHam fam. That way, you never miss daily farming simulator videos here on the channel. That seemed out of order. 
Is that out of order? I don't know. Let me know. <laughs> Otherwise, I just hope you have a great day. We'll see you guys later.